Hello, my name is Dr. Sunanda Kane and I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm a gastroenterologist that specializes in treating patients with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Last week was very exciting in that uh, there were two new papers that came out in the New England Journal of Medicine in regards to a brand new therapy for both ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Now what makes this new therapy different is that it has a completely different mechanism of action than any of the other therapies that are currently available. It is a monoclonal antibody, so it is under the realm of these biologics, but it is not like Remicade, it is not like Humira or Simsia. It is completely different. It is given as an IV, but works differently. And how does it work differently? It actually is targeted to the gut, which makes it that much nicer and probably safer. So the, the two papers, one for Crohn's disease and one for ulcerative colitis, showed that these were better than placebo in treating patients and getting active symptoms under control. Now it's interesting that the patients who had ulcerative colitis did better on this therapy than those with Crohn's. And it's a little unclear right now why that might be, except that we know that ulcerative colitis is a condition that is limited to just the colon, which is where there's a lot of lymph tissue and where this therapy is particularly targeted. So we're all very excited about these new data and this new mechanism of action and this new therapy. It's going to take probably another year or up to even 18 months to see this on the market, but the data as published now in the peer-reviewed realm is very exciting and now we can move forward with trying to get FDA approval of this and offer patients yet another choice for trying to treat their disease.